This segment of Naperville Sports Weekly is brought to you by BMO Harris Bank. We're here at Bennett Academy with girls tennis number one singles player Coco Zekas. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, uh, thank you so much for um, uh, letting me uh, come here and answer some questions. So let's let's get right to it. Uh, you've been playing tennis for uh, how long now? It's been about 14 years. I mean, I started playing when I was around like three or four. And now, who I guess who influenced you to play tennis? Um, definitely my older sister. Um, I know my mom just decided to put her in some little kitty neighborhood classes and um, she loved it, like fell in love with it, wanted to compete and um, I guess I just kind of followed her footsteps and I really enjoyed it too. Now you're a senior here at Bennett, um, what's this season been like so far for you? Um, the season's been really nice so far, um, I'm actually enjoying it a little bit more than um, my past seasons, probably because now I'm realizing that it's going to be my last one. and. Um, it's um it's been good so far and um I'm you know I'm remembering and um try to enjoy every step of it. You had a chance to play with your sister uh, for a couple of years here. What was that like? Um, it was awesome. Um, she's like always been a role model to me. I mean, in everything, not just tennis. And um, it was really like a good feeling for me to be a freshman on the team when she was a junior, and then for me to be a sophomore and she was a senior. Like I always had that extra you know, confidence builder, and she was always there for me, and she made me feel so comfortable on the team so I could be comfortable here now, you know. Now, as the number one singles player, uh, does that have any added pressure when you're out there trying to, like, uh, lead the girls here at Bennett? Mm -hmm. Well, there's going to be, like, pressure when it comes to, um, like, a number one spot, but um, um, I try not to, like, let my nerves get to me too much. I just try to play my game and no matter what happens, just like not let it get the best of me. And um, I do my best to, you know, just try to like set a good example for some of the other girls who are just coming on the team. What, I guess, would be some of your goals that you set out, even from freshman year till now, what would you say are some of the goals that you set out for yourself that you may have achieved and may still want to achieve? Mm -hmm. um, well, um, one of my main goals was to make it to state, like be a state qualifier. and. I got that opportunity my sophomore year, and I didn't um, qualify my junior year, but um, it was a it was a tough match that it came down to. But um, the senior year, I'm really trying to make it my like ultimate achievement and goal to uh, qualify again for state. And so, you know, I'm going to keep trying for it, and we'll see how it goes. <laughs> now, when you see uh, female athletes like Serena Williams, you know, dominate in tennis, uh, does that how do, how do you look at a player like Serena as uh, somebody that you look up to maybe? Mm -hmm, I do. Um, I remember even like as a young kid we used to go, we went to the French Open, we used to go to little Cincinnati tournaments here and there and I used to always see them in person and I used to always think to myself, wow, I really want to be like that and you know I definitely, even watching on TV, I try to use some of the uh, tendencies that Serena has when it comes to like good focus and footwork and try to implement that into my game. Now, you've been playing uh, singles here most of your career, I would say, at Bennett, correct? Yeah. So, uh, what influenced you to play singles? Is that something that you have a choice of, or is it something you said, I, I'd rather be a singles player over a doubles player? Yeah, um, well, I, like, even since I was doing, like, USTA as a younger kid, I always grew up playing singles, so it was kind of all I knew. Um, I remember, like, goofing around a little in doubles here and there, but um, singles um, was just more of my, you know, um, forte, and I really liked it, and I'm glad I got to play singles my years at Bennett, all four years, and um, I don't know, I, it's, it's something that I really enjoy, just like being there on the court by myself, and um, I don't know, I like it a lot, so. For someone like myself who really hasn't played much tennis ever, uh, what is the difference between playing singles and doubles? Um, well, mentally, um, it's a pretty big difference. Um, I'm always more relieved when I get to play a doubles match because you have someone on the court with you, and it's nice. Um, you don't blame yourself. You're not so hard on yourself. And, you know, you can just, um, I don't know, with your partner, you guys share, like, a bond. And um, as far as singles goes, I mean, it's just you on the court. So if you make the mistake, it's your fault. And um, you kind of have to win or lose your matches based on, you and um, sometimes that could be hard but I'm so used to it now and um, it's just what I know. 
Well, Coco, that's all the time we have for today, but I, I want to thank you for joining me and uh, good luck the rest of the season. Yeah, thank you so much for this awesome opportunity. <laughs>